Hey, what is going on guys? Expert Fusion here, and this is going to be the first of a brand new series here on my channel where I take characters from the Walking Dead Telltale games and I make them go head to head against characters from the Walking Dead TV show. So today we have Carver versus the Governor, probably the two most badass villains of the series so far of you know the walking dead tv show and of the telltale games so we have five different categories and we're going to make them go head to head in each category i'm going to give one of the categories a win to either or and then we'll see who has more wins in each category at the end and that will be the winner of the overall video so let's get into this so with the first category we have character development which character was more developed over the series so um, the governor had a lot of development. He was from season 3, episode 3, all the way to season 4, episode 8, where he died. And he had a ton and ton and ton of development. He was, like, one of the, so far in the TV show, he's gotten the most development out of any other villain on the show. He just, he went through a lot, and he changed the characters, and he was changed a lot. I mean, especially into season 4. He, after he killed his whole army of people, he just, he was a different man. That's, that's all really there is to it. And then he went back to his villainous acts for the season four mid-season finale when he went to the prison to have one last final attack. So, um, and then we have Carver, who Carver was in a lot less than the governor. He was only in from season two, episode two, and then he died in season two, episode three. But of course, the episodes are a lot longer in the Telltale games, so that kind of would faction out to about a season or maybe a little bit less in an actual TV show. And Carver didn't have much development at all. He really didn't. He he was a good villain. Let me tell you that much. He was a great villain, and he definitely changed the mind of Clementine and Kenny, and just overall changed the characters. But him himself didn't change much. He was a pretty much a static character all the way through. Um, so I would have to give this first category to the governor who had a lot more development than Carver. The next category goes to who these characters have killed. So obviously these are villains and villains are meant to cause a lot of character deaths and are a lot to, you know, to cause a lot of stuff like that. Carver killed only a few people. He hasn't killed many. He killed, he killed, um, let me think, uh, Walter in season two, episode two. He killed Alvin in either season two episode two or season two episode three depending on your choices um and he killed reggie so out of those three characters that he's killed the only ones that are really important is really alvin because that caused a uh, character development with rebecca and stuff like that and actually no we'll do whatever you want I love you, Beck. Please, don't do this! <laughs> Caused um, problems within the series, but Walter and Reggie no one really cared about, so I don't really, 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 really that really mattered. Um, that Carver killed, so... But then we have the Governor. The Governor killed a hell of a lot of people. He killed... I mean, just counting of the main characters, not counting all the, you know, side characters that he's killed, because he's killed plenty. Um, but main character-wise, he's killed Merle, Milton. He kind of killed Andrea, not really, but I would count it as him killing Andrea. He killed his whole own army. And, of course, the saddest one of all, he's killed Herschel, which was the most impactful out of any of the kills. But, so that, that category just has to go to the governor, because... He, he just killed a lot more people. He had more time. He killed a lot more main characters and did more of a, you know, damage to the series. The third category is which one is scarier and more villainous? So which one has that villainous feel to it? And you can just tell he's a villain right away. So the governor, as much as he does feel like a villain often, he doesn't always feel like a villain, especially in the beginning of season three. He was charming. He was, you know, he was a normal leader. He wasn't a villainous at all. He didn't have those acts. And even later in the season, I mean, he acted normal with, like, Woodbury people, people he cared about. Um, but when it came to, like, the prison group, he just was complete villainous. But Carver, Carver's a lot different. Carver is always villainous. Even to his own people, I see him, you know, being mean to, like, his own people. And he's making them go to work. He's kind of acting like 
a douchebag, which would be the word. And that's how villainous people are like. Villainous people are more, you know, greedy in words and just have more, you know, have more just are meaner overall to their own people. I mean, the governor actually cares about some things, but Carver has no chill. I mean, he's just all all in all a really, really deep villain. And I mean, that deep voice the guy has, man, just just makes it even feel more villainous. But so that, that category has to go to Carver. The fourth category would be how much of a douchebag they are. So this actually matters. You want to hate the villains. You want to be like, I want you to die. That's what villains are supposed to be like. And the governor, he's not always been a douchebag. I mean, there's a lot of times where he was charming and nice, just like from the last category where he, he, you know, he had that charming, nice feeling to him. And he wasn't always a villain, especially to Andrea in the beginning of season three. Um, but Carver, Carver was always an ass. He he never was chill. He never, you know, gave people second chances, um, especially Reggie, man. He just shoved him right off that roof when he made, like, a few mistakes, and there he was dead. I mean, he was one of Carver's group, you know. He just killed him just like that. And, you know, he, he obviously turned his people, like Tavia and Troy, he turned them into, you know, blood-colded killers because they literally were turning into Carver. I've seen, you know, Tavia is I really hate the hair to hate her so much. Um, in season two, episode three, she's like, you know, being all bossy and stuff. And Carver taught them to be like that. And you know, the douchebagness obviously carried over to you know Carver's people. So you know, that's that. So I have to give that one to Carver. So we're all tied up here, both characters with two different category wins, and it's coming down to the final category, which is category is. If Carver and the governor went off in a fight, one-on-one, -on -one, in a room, just just going at it, you know, just them, no one else around, just them two going at it, and just who would win? Now, this it is a hard decision, in my opinion, because they're both very close to the same age. I mean, just, just looking at this back-to-back -back photo with each other. They, they're really close to the same age. They're like in their, you know, late 40s, maybe um, low 50s. I don't really know exactly what age they are, but they look like they're around the same age. Um, so you'd think they would have the same amount of energy in them to be fighting other people. But the thing that actually made me choose one character over the other is just seeing who they've fought. I mean, Carver, I never really saw fight anybody within Telltale Games. Uh, let's see, yeah, he really hasn't fought anybody. I mean, he, he was killed by Kenny pretty fast. But looking at the governor, man, oh, the governor, first of all, was going ham against Michonne. I mean, he lost against Michonne, but um, then against Rick, which you think Rick would beat him, but no, he was kicking Rick's ass, man. He was destroying Rick, and after seeing him just completely annihilate Rick, I was like, yeah, I think the governor would win against Carver. I mean, it's just, it's, it's hard to see, because if the governor would beat Rick, all right, and I do think that Rick and Kenny, if they had a fight, I think Rick would win. So if the governor could kick Rick's ass, and Rick would kill Kenny's ass, and Kenny would kill Carver's ass, like, it's just, <laughs> I think the governor would win against Carver is overall what I'm trying to say here. I do think they would win, especially if they're in a room and they had other objects to use, like, I'm not saying, like, guns or anything, but if they, you know, were able to pick up a weapon and use it to their advantage, I think the governor would be able to kill Carver, it'd be a very close fight, um, but it'd be very interesting to watch. So hopefully you guys enjoyed I will see you guys on my next video. Put in the comment section who you want me to face off next. Um, I'm definitely looking to do another one of these videos. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. See you guys on my next video. Peace out.